In this episode of The Pit Stop, this guy is going to give you five ways to help increase your individual product page SEO. So, hey, Chris. Nice to finally be able to do a podcast yeah, with you. Yeah, sharing the stage for the first time with yeah, you. Yeah, I know. So, today we're going to be talking about five different ways that we can improve product page SEO and kind of utilizing your marketing expertise to go over each of the ways that we can build on the product page SEO. I'm going to go with one of the first ways, which is to incorporate custom images and or videos. Yeah, so custom images are really important. Um, as you guys probably know, there are a ton of parts websites out there now. Everybody, you know, the secret's out. You can make money selling parts and accessories yeah. online. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of parts and accessories in these catalogs. And so yeah. you're, you're marketing hundreds of thousands of parts and accessories. And the easy way to do that is to have a standard image mm -hmm. uploaded for all these parts and accessories, uh, which is fine. But then you kind of just... Uh, you blend in. And mm -hmm. so having custom images is a great way to stand out in Google, Yahoo, wherever these are being indexed. And also it gives the consumer who lands on the page a better understanding of what they're actually getting. Because yeah, a lot of these are like just to blueprints. see what they're buying. I, like, I love to see what I'm buying. <laughs> I do, yeah. it's, you know, And I don't like to always see computer generated images. I right. like to see the actual part or accessory um, that, that it is. And so that's a really good way to not only show up better in, in Google, but to actually give the consumer a better understanding of what they're getting. Yeah. Um, and video is the same thing. Videos are great on page because it keeps the user on the page longer. And that is an indicator to Google that if somebody's on the page longer, there must be a reason why they're on the page longer. And they correlate that with relevancy. So right. um, the longer people are on the page, theoretically, the higher that page is gonna start ranking in Google, so having custom images and videos are a great way to do that. Definitely, well, and now YouTube is practically its own search engine, so. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah <laughs> Gotta be absolutely. on YouTube. It's the second biggest search yeah. engine in the world, so. All right, well, that leads us into our second tip, which is creating unique product description. So a lot of the time, the description that comes right outside the box, every GM, Ford, catalog, whatever the brand, is going to have the same exact description across the board. So mm -hmm. really, we want to make those more unique right. and differentiate. And so that's not bad. That's a good thing. That's great that they have a description right. in the first place, but it can be better. Yeah. And you know that's what we're trying to do for our clients is we're trying to get them out of the herd and have them become outliers where you know, they're doing things differently. And one of those things is unique product descriptions. These are what show up in search engine results uh, underneath the title. So it's a great way, think of it as a billboard. Like this is your opportunity to draw in um, all that, all those it's eyeballs. It's the first thing the customer's It's the read, first thing basically. that, exactly. And you have, there's a character limit to it. Um, so you have to be short and sweet. Right. But optimizing those, you know, for whatever you want to say, maybe it's uh, shop now, maybe it's a call to action, maybe it's the part number or, you know, whatever it is. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to yep. tweak it, but the big takeaway is making it unique. Right. And just like the step before custom images, it's custom. And that's a big takeaway from this custom, right. unique, trying to be different. And it's really important to remember, you know, as, parts managers, they know these products. So they know what people are most likely gonna be typing in to look for, they know what they're gonna be looking for to read. Right. So that's right. why you know it's really important for them to take the time and take the initiative to set up custom descriptions. Exactly. Um, another cool thing that we can add into the product pages is social share icons. Yep, yeah, um, so social share icons are a great way to share that page, um, share that that resource with your your friends, your family, your followers. Mm -hmm. And again, that's another indicator to Google, Yahoo, all these search engines have their own algorithms and you know there's a lot to them, but a lot of the facets to the algorithm are indicators like social share buttons. Right. You know, if it's getting shared a bunch online, again, that's an indicator to the search engines that it's probably relevant information, they're gonna rank that that higher. So you're giving uh, your your customers uh, an opportunity to, to share. And if you didn't have it, you lose that opportunity. And maybe one person shares it and 100 people go to their page. Well, that's one more person right. that's, that you didn't have to do anything for. Right. They're, they're promoting you themselves, which right. is great. No, it makes sense, makes sense. Um, in addition to that, 
we can throw in the product reviews. That gives that warm, fuzzy trust feeling. Right. Uh, social proof is very, very important, especially online, because not a lot of these consumers know who you are. Right. It's not a brick and mortar where you under you know, um, you know, Jack's auto dealership down the road. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, all right, that's legit, or Amazon or Target. You know, a lot of these places you don't really, they don't have to build trust as much because they already know. They're spending right. millions and millions of dollars in advertising. So if you have a, a parts store online, it's more than likely a lot of these people's first time they ever went to your website or know anything about you. So having these product reviews are a great way to build that trust build because they, they, yeah, they, they yeah. see other people have already purchased from you. So it's right. like, all right, they connect that with legitimacy. Right. And, Especially um, with something like Google reviews where they know it's actually a valid and that's purchase. Exactly. It's not just a random testimonial on a website. It's like, okay, 100%. this is legitimate. We know somebody purchased this product, came back, gave this review and liked it. And that's a good point too, because Google reviews, people know Google. Mm -hmm. So if you have a review from a review company that nobody's even heard of. Right. I mean, for me, I'm like, well, could the company just add those reviews themselves? Exactly. People like, or companies like Google, they have a lot of checks and balances, but And uh, negative yeah. reviews can be handy, right? You get a negative review, you learn from it, so. A negative review, you can learn from it, and also it's an area of opportunity to get into the conversation and um, make it right. Right. And so wherever there's uh, you know a problem, in lies a, an opportunity to make right. that better. Right, right. And you know, this gives us the opportunity then on that page to also um, include internal and external links. So mm -hmm. if your dealership has access to installation guides, why not add those installation guides you know, to the website? A lot of do-it-yourselfers are online, they're shopping for a part, maybe they're a little bit, I don't know if I could do this myself, I wish I could just see. So if, if a dealership has access to an installation guide, very simple process to put it into a PDF, link it to the site. Um, that way people can access it. Um, Absolutely, yeah, it's a, you're being a resource. And right. you're lowering, first you're building trust with the reviews, and then you're providing a resource where you're making it easier for them to purchase, and that's the ultimate goal is you want them to purchase. So if right. you can build their trust and you can educate them a little bit more where, oh, okay, I can, I can probably do this, and that I this is definitely the right part because I can see the image right. and I watch this video where it's like, all right, now you have a sale. Whereas sometimes, you know, there's it, the purchase path isn't just A to B, it can be A, B, C, D, and then before you know it, on G, they purchase. Yep. And so, and each one of those, that user can fall off. Maybe they're like, all right, I can see that, they image and um, they have good reviews, but I don't know if how to install this, so I'm yeah. not gonna buy it, yeah. right? So it's yeah. like, if you need to have every single one, because um, each one reinforces the other one, so mm -hmm. they're all very important. Mm -hmm. And I just wanna kind of circle back too into that trust. So if you already have a dealership with good domain authority um, that's well known where you're advertising it, why not put that dealer link on your site? Why not put a link to your parts website on your dealer site so that people can actually get there and then purchase parts. That's another way that you can increase your SEO. A hundred percent. And you know, to your point, you already have this high domain authority. And so if you have, um, for instance, if a big website like CNN or Fox or ABC, any of those link to your, your website, that's huge. That's right. you know because there's they're getting millions of visitors a month, and you know obviously or not obviously maybe you're getting millions of visitors to your dealership a month. Right. Um, but you're building all this this credibility and all this rank. So if you do link to your parts website, it's going to help that out. I know a lot of dealers are worried because they don't want their local um, customers buying online when they right. can buy their wholesale buy prices. brick and mortar. But also you have to understand you have to adapt to the consumer. And yep. you can't be naive to well, you can tell them or not, they're gonna it, they're gonna find out. Right. And it's right. only a matter of time. So you yeah. can be ahead of that curve um, and adapt or you can be playing catch up. So that's that's up to you. But abs absolutely will help uh, the SEO. All right, guys, so we've given you five ways that you can improve your product page SEO. Thanks, Chris, for jumping on with me and talking about this. Yeah, I appreciate it. Of course, it's a pleasure.